is Rami Belsky. I'm at Brown's Volkswagen on the Philippine Turnpike. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Mazda 6. The 2019 Mazda 6 that we have here is in a beautiful blue color. Absolutely gorgeous. Coming around to the front, you're going to see that nice grille with the Mazda logo here in the middle and those nice fully automatic headlights with automatic high beams as well. On this vehicle, you're gonna get 19 inch alloy wheels. The tread on these tires is in great condition. I'll show you all of the tires. This Mazda 6 has excellent fuel economy too. You're gonna get about 26 miles to the gallon in the city and 35 miles to the gallon on the highway. Underneath the hood, you're gonna see the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine here. This comes with a six speed automatic transmission. It's front wheel drive underneath the hood itself, you're going to see the sound shielding that'll keep the cabin nice and quiet. And as you can see, all of your fluids here, they're easily marked and very accessible. Looking down the body of the vehicle, you're going to see that nice chrome trim that runs all the way down. And that really gives this car a really nice stylish finish. On the side mirrors here, you're going to see your turn signal indicators. And I'll let you look at the buyer's guide as well. And coming around the back of the vehicle, you'll see the tail lights, and then right above the license plate is the backup camera there. Opening up the trunk. You can see just how much space you have in here. It's very roomy. You have all four of your floor mats that come with this vehicle. And then there's a spare tire and jack underneath. If this is not enough room and you want to increase your cargo space, you can pull these clips and fold that second row down. As you can see, once that second row is folded down, you have a ton of cargo space to use. As you can see, looking down the vehicle, this car is free of dents and dings, and it's in really good condition. Taking a look inside the second row, it's very clean and spacious back here. It's really nice um, leather, leatherette in here, and there's plenty of leg room. There's pockets up front on both sides. Um, you can see the sunroof from the back seat. It feels really good back here. It's, it smells really great. There's no like rips or stains or anything in um, the seats themselves. So everything back here is in great condition. In the front passenger seat, you're gonna have plenty of leg room as well. And you'll notice the glove compartment there as well. On your door, you're going to see space for your cup holder. And then above, beside your vents, you're going to see this nice paneling here in the middle. I'm seated behind the steering wheel now. There's a ton of leg room up here as well. Um, this chair has a powered um, controls, and I had to scoot it up quite a bit just to reach the pedals. If you do want to adjust the steering wheel, that can easily be done with this lever here. And then taking a look at the cockpit, you're going to see all of your driving data there and as well as the um, information about what headlight settings it's on. So it's on automatic and that's why it's green. But if I also wanted to just turn it off, that would clip off as well. On the door, you're going to see your controls for your windows. This knob here will let you control your side mirrors. And then looking down below, you'll see um, your lane assist and then your traction control buttons there as well. The rest of the controls on your steering wheel include um, options for using your device hands-free once you've connected it. 
And then on this side, you'll see your cruise control settings as well. Taking a look at the infotainment system, this is a touch screen. It's really easy to navigate and use. You can click here, you can see your navigation options there. This is your home button. You can click back and then swipe over. You can see your radio options here. And these are all of your applications. If you don't want to use it as a touchscreen, you can use these controls down here and that'll let you do the same thing. Just clicking all the way over and then pressing down to enter that menu. So either way, it's pretty easy to use these settings. Below that, you'll see your automatic uh, climate control zones. You have a dual climate control zone, so the passenger gets their side, the driver gets their side. You do have buttons for your heated front seats as well. And then below that, you'll see space for your phone, and then the electronic parking brake, and space for your cup holders. And I'll show you how the backup camera works. Uh, once the car is in reverse, the camera will click on, and you can back up safely using these navigation lines. So that is a look at the 2019 Mazda 6. If you like what you see or if you have any questions, give me a call. I can be reached at 804-551-5537. Again, my name is Rainy Belsky and I'm with Brown's Volkswagen. Thank you so much for watching.